Hey everybody, we're going to do the Ferrari collection today. As you can see, I've already got two of the three cars. So we're hunting down the final one, which is the 458 Italia. This is menu book 38. Interesting thing with this one is uh, I actually purchased the F12 Berlinetta earlier on. I think when I was doing the Porsche challenge. So I've been using that and it's already fully tuned up as you can see at the top it is 804.77 performance points that's with all of the downforce modifications and tuning upgrades installed now with these ferrari collection challenges we need to tune it downwards to the maximum of 700 so dragon trail is our last race in this series we need third place or higher. So if we go into car settings, I've actually got a settings sheet set up for this. So if I go into the old and make that change, you can see what changes there are. So we get 699.91. That's achieved from going from the racing softs to the sports hard tyres. We've then tweaked our downforce levels, front and rear. Uh, so they were 110, 350. We've changed that to 103, 363. And then our other change, instead of 390 as a top speed, we've got 410. Everything else is the same. Everything else is still all installed. So those are the changes we've made, mostly on downforce. We've not limited the uh, horsepower or added weight or anything like that. Uh, you can see down the side here how that affects acceleration. So we're a bit slower due to the longer gears and let's give this a go five laps again ferrari circuit challenge <clears throat> we won't have as much grip because we're on the sports hard tires so that could be quite negative for us. Playing with the downforce a lot as well, but we should have plenty of pace on the straights. And you can see we're a bit tail happy coming out of there. Yeah, not much downforce at all. So just a case of being careful on the throttle. It will spin when we're going up a gear. Late braking. Yeah, there we go. If you late brake like that, you have to do it in a straight line, otherwise, you will just understeer. The car feels very loose. So patient going through some of these corners before we can get on the power, and then even then we're gradually increasing it. Leading pack of fairway ahead. We're 27 seconds behind the leader. We'll see if we can get that down. I think a lot of the work is going to be done for us on the straight, so as long as we can get the power down. Ooh, big twitch. <laughs> right, we've got the fastest lap there, so that's a bit of a handful. As long as you can catch it and avoid a major incident. Paces there. Uh... Oops. Never nice when you tap another car. I was trying to do a clean racing. 
this car loves to slide now. <laughs> this would actually be quite a good setup if you were to do um, some drifting in it, probably. The Berlinetta as well, I believe it's a uh, FR car rather than MLR, so that might be contributing to it as well. Because most of the Ferraris are MR. But we're up to fifth. Slide there. <laughs> and be so careful getting on the power. That's what happens when you take all the downforce off of an area of the car, though. It doesn't hold it down on the road anymore, so you lose your grip and your traction. Can't even now. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a uh, comfortable way of doing this race, but on lap three, and row four, gap is 15 seconds to the leader. Let's see if we can manage this. Certainly uh, requires a lot of patience. Getting some good sector time, so now we've done a bit of pass and we've got some clear track. Oh, that is a bit wide. Oh dear. <laughs> All out of shape there. Gap's increased a little. Try and make it back. Yeah, combination of sports hard with less downforce. And it's a real handful. Even though it just wanted to fling itself into a barrier. But we can see third place ahead of us. Uh, we only need to get third or higher. Let's try and go for the win though. Like four or five. We are closing in. In that final sector alone, we actually took five seconds off the leader, so we should close up. As long as we avoid having bad sectors or we'll crash. Before oh, we just parked on the apex there. Uh, Yeah, we've got so much more drive coming out of the corners. We'll just have to break later than them. Close the door a bit on them. Try and avoid what we did last time. That's much better positioning. Come out of there way more pace than last lap. Oh dear, very deep. <laughs> and yet we're still setting purple sectors. Definitely got the grunt on the straights. So we're up in second now. We can see first place ahead of us. 4.4 seconds. 
final lap. Starting now. Let's see if we can get them. Obviously some of this comes down to driver skill as well, so I'm sure many of you will be able to achieve this. Uh, if you find this to be too much of a handful though, um, I've added all of the upgrades to this building letter, so maybe you could take off some of them, or just not install them initially. Things like the engine upgrades, get those performance points down. Some of them, once they're installed, you can't take them off, so you could be a bit more selective rather than playing with the downfalls as much as I have. Let's see if we can get them up the inside. Make sure we don't go too deep again. Oh, they've got the undercut on us there. The switch back. As we've seen, we'll stretch out on this straight. We'll have a nice gap for the final corner. There we go. Just keep it tidy to the line. And that is one way that you can complete the Ferrari Challenge. Possibly not one I'd fully endorse and recommend because it is very tricky to handle, but it gets the job done. Didn't get a plain race bonus either, that's a shame. A few too many taps. And there we go, menu book completed. Thanks for watching.